Geography again. Yes, contour line maps. This is going to be an express video on contour line maps. We're going to make this very fast, about 10 times regular speed. So, good morning, good afternoon, good evening if you're watching this late at night. Here is a quick review, especially if you were away from class, about contour line maps and how to create a fictional contour line map demonstrating your understanding of contour lines. We're using the fictional construct of making a map of a fictional park, a fictional large park, a provincial park, or regional park. We've got a title, View Mountain Provincial Park, a spot for a name, and a spot for a legend. Those are important elements of this map. This is going to be so much fun. We're going to try and make a very fast video, much faster than the previous one. There I'm talking in the previous video about the uh, legend. Okay, the first line indicates the coast. This second line here being drawn right now is uh, the next elevation up the contour interval, which is yet to be written down on this map. Over here you can see some little islands and what's going to be a river delta system. So the next line being drawn is another contour interval. Each line on this map, each line is going to represent a contour interval of 25 meters in elevation, which means 25 meters above sea level for the first contour line and the second contour line would be 50 meters above sea level and then the third one would be 25 plus 25 plus 25 for 75 meters above sea level and so on till we get to our fourth one at 100 meters above sea level. Our fourth one is getting close to the summit. Now that means our summit has got to be between 100 meters and 125 meters to be between the possible range. Now take a look at the river and the lake being drawn on the map right now. The river and lake are in a valley system shown by the contour interval lines where the water flows downwards towards the valley bottom where the river would be located. Very simple concept, gravity and water flowing downhill, but on a contour line map, um, it may be a little bit harder at first to read the idea of which way is downhill. Okay, right now we're adding a parking lot to the map. The red lines are a hiking trail going to the summit, and this next shape being added is a parking lot. Okay, now we're adding a road in purple. This will be a road for cars. Now, a road can't go straight up a steep cliff face, but it can go gently sloped up some hills and then back down again. Now there's some hiking trails uh, going away from the parking lot. One to the summit, one to the uh, River Delta system for bird watching, and one to a dock uh, shown in orange. Now we're adding a compass rose to the map, an important element to show which way is north on a map. Now we've got more stuff put into the legend, not the text yet, but we've got a lake, a river, a hiking trail, a road in purple, a parking lot with a P, and let's zoom out a little. Looks like we've got marsh or swampland for the, the ducks here shown by green lines and we have an unlabeled purple box. What could that be? Use your imagination to think about what object or attraction could go in this purple box and what would it be labeled as as the key. We also got a summit elevation of 112 meters and we've got a contour line interval over here of 25 meters and the next thing is to be the scale. Knowing that the contour interval is an exciting 25 meters, 
what would make the most sense for an imaginary scale on this map? Would it be A, one centimeter equals 1,000 kilometers, or B, one centimeter equals 500 meters, or C, one centimeter equals 25 meters, which would make most sense for this map, given what we know about the slope of most mountains or hills. Pause the video, discuss with the person sitting beside you what would be the best scale for this. Rewind the video and listen to the options again. Do, 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 do. Thank you for your attention for this ultra fast video on contour lines. For more questions, you can get a hold of me on Microsoft Teams chat or email. Have a good night.